हेलो फ्रेंड्स आर यू वंडरिंग इफ यू शुड कैरी एक्स्ट्रा फ्यूल और पेट्रोल और डीजल ऑन योर अपकमिंग लद्दाख ट्रिप और आर यू गोइंग टू ड्राइव और राइड ऑन सम ऑफ द रिमोटेस्ट रूट इन लद्दाख एंड कंफ्यूज इफ यू विल फाइंड पेट्रोल पंप ऑन सच रूट एंड इफ नॉट हाउ डू यू मैनेज दी पेट्रोल अवेलेबिलिटी ओवर देयर वेल अ लॉर्ड ऑफ पीपल आर कंसर्न अबाउट फ्यूल अवेलेबिलिटी ऑन देयर ले लद्दाख रोड ट्रिप्स both bikers as well as the people who drive their own cars must be aware where they can find fuel in ladakh and how much mileage their vehicles offer this way you can always properly plan for fuel on your ladakh trip otherwise you may be left stranded in the middle of nowhere with no help around and today in this express faq series on traveling to ladakh i'm going to tell you everything in detail about fuel availability in le ladakh region so let's get started हेलो नमस्ते एंड जुले इफ यू आर न्यू टू माय चैनल माय नेम इज धीरज एंड आई रन अ ट्रैवल ब्लॉग डेविल ऑन व्हील्स वेल फ्रेंड्स इफ यू आर ट्रैवलिंग टू रेगुलर टूरिस्ट डेस्टिनेशंस इन लद्दाख लाइक नूब्रा वैली पैंगोंगसो एंड सोमोरी यूजिंग द कन्वेंशनल रूट्स यू मे नॉट नीड टू कैरी एनी एक्स्ट्रा और स्पेयर फ्यूल और पेट्रोल ऑन योर ट्रिप्स हाउएवर यू मस्ट कीप इन माइंड दैट इन केस यू आर प्लानिंग टू टेक डायरेक्ट रूट्स बिटवीन दीज टूरिस्ट डेस्टिनेशन विदाउट कमिंग बैक टू ले देन यू मस्ट कैरी स्पेयर फ्यूल विद यू इन योर कार्स और बाइक्स Another important point to note is that you must account for only about 70% of the mileage that you are used to getting from your vehicle in normal condition back at home. Knowing this mileage and location of various petrol pumps or fuel availability options in Ladakh, it will help you tremendously in planning your Ladakh trip by car or by bike without any fuss. Now talking about where you can find petrol pump on your Ladakh trip, if we talk about Ladakh region, well both petrol or diesel is available at petrol pumps in leh and then one petrol pump is also present at karu town which is about 40 kilometers from leh on manali leh highway apart from leh or nearby there is one petrol pump which is available in diskit village as well which is in nubra valley and as of 2016 the diskit petrol pump is fully functional and also remains operational in winter months overall the fuel availability at these petrol pumps in leh and nubra valley has tremendously improved as well in the last few years as of 2020 so now you can see that as long as you are traveling on normal routes and coming back to leh after visiting a tourist destination in ladakh like nubra valley pangongso or somori lake then you can always refill the petrol or diesel in leh before heading back to a new destination however the problem arises when you plan to travel on these direct routes between these tourist destinations in ladakh that is where you need to carry extra fuel or petrol with you now let us look at some of the common long routes that you will be traveling along with approximate distances that you will be covering on them without any petrol pumps so knowing these distances so you can easily do the math with the mileage that your car gives or bike gives and what is the fuel tank capacity of it as i said before just consider only 70% of the mileage then what your vehicle gives in normal regular condition back at home and then whatever is remaining after the full fuel tank you should carry that much of extra fuel from leh with you on these routes first on the list is leh to pangongso and then pangongso to somori directly and then coming back to leh this route will be about 550 odd kilometer so after refueling at leh if you think your car cannot do 550 odd kilometer then whatever math you have done carry the extra fuel with you accordingly on this route second on the list is leh to nubra valley and then going directly from nubra valley to pangongso and then pangongso to somori and then coming back to leh on this route you will need to travel about 600 odd kilometers without any petrol pump because i have already considered this kit petrol pump in it similarly on the third route if you will want to add hanle then you will be doing leh to nubra valley pangongso then hanle then somori and then back to leh which will come around 700 odd kilometers in total similar to the above route i have taken nubra valley petrol pump into account on this route as well apart from these direct routes between various tourist places in ladakh let us look at what happens when you want to exit leh from manali leh highway without coming back to leh first regular route is leh to somori to sokar lake to sarchu and then further to manali well you will be traveling about 550 kilometers on this route without any petrol pump if you add hanle to this route you are looking to add about 200 odd kilometer more 
so plan for about 730 kilometers of drive without any petrol pump with hanle included in this route and next if you do not wish to include somori lake or hanle in your plan then you are talking about 350 odd kilometers from le to tandi petrol pump and finally if you have further complicated plan like doing the entire circuit from le to nubra valley to pangongso to somori and then exit via manali highway look out for about 700 odd kilometers considering the nubra valley petrol pump and guys if you want to add hanle into the plan then consider about 800 kilometers of drive without any petrol pump and if in above two plans or circuits you are not visiting nubra valley then reduce about 50 odd kilometers hence you must keep these routes in mind and plan to carry spare fuel with you based on the distance you will be traveling without any petrol pump on them in case you run out of fuel on any of these routes you can try your luck at the villages like tangse chumadang khalsar disket hanle or pang etc and depending upon your luck you may find some diesel or petrol available in these villages which is being sold by a villager in black of course quality can be a question but it will always be handy if you run out of fuel on a related thing a very important thing that you should keep in mind is that please do not forget to carry a thin cloth that can be used with the funnel to filter any impurities in this black fuel i have also mentioned it in my previous video on 40 things you must carry on ladakh self drive trip If you have not checked that video yet please do check it out using the link over here now let us look at some of the general questions that people ask me about fuel availability on entire ladakh trip first one people are interested is is there any need to carry an extra fuel or petrol on srinagar leh highway well friends you do not need to carry any extra fuel or petrol on srinagar leh highway there are plenty of petrol pumps available on srinagar leh highway and even if you top up in kargil you will be easily able to do 240 odd kilometers to leh most cars will be able to cover this much of distance with one full tank however in case you are on a bike and the mileage is low then you will need to carry some extra petrol with you similarly the second one is if you need to carry any extra fuel or petrol on manali leh highway well again you do not need to carry any extra fuel or petrol on manali leh highway as well and once you start from manali you will get the next petrol pump at tandi after that you need to travel 340 odd kilometers to reach karu which is near leh again most car should be able to do it without any issues but in case you have a motorcycle that gives you low mileage and cannot do 340 odd kilometers then of course you need to carry spare fuel with you on manali leh highway well sometimes sarchu and pang t shacks or dhaba on manali leh highway also has fuel available in black but again do carry that thin cloth with you to filter out the impurities so friends this was all about fuel or petrol availability in ladakh region and whether you need to carry extra fuel or petrol on your ladakh trip or srinagar leh highway or manali leh highway in my next video i'm going to talk about what are the most important tips and things that you should keep in mind before renting a bike for a leh ladakh road trip so stay tuned my friends now in the end if you found this video helpful please do not forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my youtube channel and in case if you need any help or have any questions on your upcoming trip to the himalayas please feel free to leave a comment down below and i'll be more than happy to help you out right away till then my friends jule and please keep our himalayas clean